Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to uh, let you know why exactly we need a resistor whenever we have an open collector not yet. Okay, let me first draw an open collector circuit. Okay. Whenever we have whenever we have a zero, we have a one at the output because that's a not gate. Okay? And whenever we have a one, we have a zero at the output. Okay? But how internally is this zero will turn out to be a one, will will invert itself to be a one inside the not gate? And how is the one going to be inverted to be a zero at inside the not gate? Well actually there is there exists a transistor inside, and let's assume that it is a bipolar junction transistor. VCC. Okay, and here this is the ground. Okay, so you know that the whenever you have a NOT gate, you need to connect the chip, uh, the chips VCC and the ground to both the the five volts and to the ground which is zero volts. However, you do not see these internal connections internally. We just draw this NOT gate using this structure. But we do not know, you might not be aware that inside the transistor there exists this, uh, inside the NOT gate there exists this transistor. Okay? And the output is really taken from here. Okay? So this is the output directly. Okay? Directly to this output. Okay, so whenever we put here a zero, this transistor is designed that when you put a zero volt at the input, this becomes five volts for some reason. Of course, it's close to five, but it's not exactly five, but it is close to five volts. It's, and this is why you read here a logic one. And when this one, when this transistor has a logic one, which is equal to five volts, so you feed here five volts, which is what we represent, we say that this is a logic one then you expect that this would become, would somehow be connected to the ground. This, this would be a short circuit, and this would be, the zero will show up at the output. Okay? But uh, perhaps you do not know why this exactly is happening inside the transistor, but at least let's assume that, take it for granted, and when you study an advanced electronic class, you might know how this is exactly operating. But remember that the main reason why it is operating is because we have a VCC connected to the transistor or connected to the NOT gate and we have a ground connected to the NOT gate. So whenever you input five, zero volts, the logic, the, an output of logic one comes out at the output and this logic one corresponds to, roughly speaking, five volts, which comes from the VCC, which is internally connected inside the NOT gate. And whenever we have logic one, at the, then at the output we have a logic zero and this logic zero comes from the ground, which is the zero uh, volts. Okay, so when we have an open collector NOT gate, actually, this is how it looks like. This is how it looks like, right? And this is why we should not keep it, we should not have, uh, when, whenever we have a zero, you, you want to have a one. How would the one come out if no VCC is connected? You do not really expect to have an, a, a, logic, a logic one here, which is the 5 volts. How would, how would it come out to the... Yes, if you have a logic one, then you expect to have logic zero at the output. Why? Because the zero is, is going to come from the ground. But when it has a logic, when we have an input of logic zero, how would the, uh, the circuit output a logic one? How would it get... Where should, should it get the 5 volts from? It would not. Okay? And this is why whenever we have an open collector NOT gate we have to connect from external side, from the external side we have to connect this to a resistor and then connect it to the VCC this resistor could be around 1 kilo ohm okay? because internally the resistor uh, in the open collector in the non-open collector uh, NOT gate was around 1 kilo ohm and this is why whenever we have an open collector NOT gate, which means that it does not have the, the resistor and the VCC connected internally, then we have to connect it externally. Okay? And this is why whenever you have a, an open collector and you do this 
kind of external connection. If you have an input of zero, then the output would be logic one. And the logic one would be equal to, concurrent to the uh, five volts, which comes from the VCC. Okay. Of course, you might be asking, yeah, okay, so why do we need to do an open collector? Uh, although we although an open design an open collector uh, transistor, an open collector uh, not gate. Although we have the uh, the privilege of uh, of having a not gate which is not an open collector. Why do we need to omit the resistor and the VCC from the internal connection of the not gate? Although we could keep them inside. I mean, why? What's the benefit of this? Uh, do not really focus on what the benefit. The, of course, it has a lot of benefits, and perhaps when you take uh, microprocessor class, you might know this uh, this benefit. But at least you know that whenever you have an open collector buffer, you would be at, do not ask yourself why are we connecting this? Why do we have to connect the resistor and the VCC? At least take it for granted right now that this uh, resistor and the VCC are required. Okay, and this is how it operates. Why is, are they required? Because they are not implemented internally inside the NOT gate. Okay. If you have any questions, please let me know.